Right, look at the bits below and uh, and see which part of this video you want to see. Start at the beginning. This is your best friend, periodic table. You've got to go straight to that for any of these calculations. So here's an example of a question. What is the formula mass of nitrogen dioxide, NO2? So look at your periodic table, find nitrogen, find the mass, it's the bigger number. Oxygen, mass is the bigger number. Then you can work out your mass. So we've got one nitrogen, two lots of 16, which is oxygen. The formula mass of nitrogen dioxide is 46. Second question, what is the formula mass of calcium hydroxide? We've got brackets in this, so we've got to be a bit careful. Let's have a little look at the periodic table. Calcium 40, hydrogen 1, and we know oxygen is 16. Let's put those in. Calcium 40, oxygen and hydrogen uh, twice, that's two lots of 1 plus 16. Total mass, total formula of calcium hydroxide is 74. Now, would be how many moles of calcium hydroxide is in 14.8 grams? Well, we know, we've worked it out, that the formula mass is 74. If you didn't have that information, you can work it out, because I've shown you how to. So, how much in moles is this amount. Well 74 is one mole. So 14.8 out of 74 14.8 out of 74 we can work that out. 14.8 divided by 74 gives a value of 0.2. So 14.8 grams is 0.2 moles. Okay, Simple as that. That's all you have to do. So, to find the percent composition then of uh, lead in lead chloride, um, I've got my um, relative formula masses up here. So, lead is 207 out of the total of 278 in lead chloride so 207 divided by 278 <coughs> gives me a value of 0 0.74 to two figures now if I multiply that by 100 I will have a percentage of 74%. This is, it really is as simple as that. Lead is 207 out of a total of 278. So 207 divided by 278 gives me a fraction. Multiply by 100 to find out percent out of 100 and you're done. Right, we'll work on a calculation uh, on percentage yield using uh, this reaction. So we've been given a question that says that we had 207 grams of lead and that was reacted with chlorine. You don't need to be told how much. And we produced uh, 183 grams of lead chloride. Uh, now clearly that's not what we would have expected. We would have expected 278. And in fact we've got less lead chloride than we had lead. That doesn't matter. They've given you the figure 183. They've asked you what is the percentage yield? So, we got 283 out of the expected 278 grams. So, pop our calculator on and we will say 183 divided by 
278 and we'll get a fraction 0.658 and if we want that as a percentage we multiply that by 100 times 100 equals we have a yield of 65.8% okay simple as that we got 183 out of the expected 278 we know we expected 278 because we've got the ratio always depends on the ratio very simple calculation see if you can go through that yourself right we're going to um, look at the next level of question a slightly more complicated question this is uh, looking at expected yield so again we've got our starting point we've got our equation and we've got our relative formula masses now this question is um, if we use 53 grams of lead here how much chlorine would we need to use in the reaction so that's the question right so we've got our ratio but instead of 207 we need 53 so we've got to convert 207 to 53 but maintain the ratio of these numbers now this is how I would do that we would start off with our uh, known ratio 207 of PB 71 grams of Cl2 will give me 278 grams of PBCL2 and I'm going to divide everything by 207 okay so we've got this line is going to be divided by 207 okay so 207 divided by 207 will equal 1 then 71 divided by 207 equals 0.34 Three, we'll round that up to three figures, and 278 divided by 207 equals 1.343, rounded up to. Now, the next line, I now need to convert 1 to 53, so I'm going to multiply on this line by 53. That will give me 53 grams of PB and 0.343 multiplied by 53 equals 18.18 grams of chlorine and 1.343 multiplied by uh, 53 equals 71.18 grams of PBCL2. So I've got my three values because I'm complete, I want to do everything. I've got my three values. What was the question? The question was how much Cl2 would I need to react with it? Well, there's my answer, it's there. Okay, I've covered every base but I then am able to answer that specific question. I'm going to do another one of these, see if you can follow it, it's going to be slightly different. Hello again. Right, this question is similar to expected yield, except that this time I've got um, the amount of product and I've got to work backwards, so I want to know how much lead I need to produce 24 tons doesn't matter what the units is it's just a number so same procedure as before I know the ratio is 207 to 71 grams and that will give me 278 grams and I know that again stressing the point because I used the formula mass for the balanced equation so 
This time I'm working on this value here, 24 tonnes. So our, my first line is going to be divide everything by 278. Okay, 278 divided by 278 is going to be 1. 71 divided by 278 is going to be 0 0.255 and 207 divided by uh, 278 is going to be 0 0.745. So that's my first ratio. I don't want 1 here, I want 24. So my next line is going to be multiply by 24. This will equal 24, 1 times 24 is 24. Then 0.255 multiplied by 24 equals 61, sorry, 6.1. Two and point seven four five multiplied by twenty four is going to be seventeen point eight eight. There's my new ratio. Now let's have a quick check. It needs to balance seventeen point eight eight plus six point one two. That's seventeen. That makes eight. It makes 24, yes. Those two figures add up to that one, so I'm happy. And what was the question? How much lead would I need to make 24 tonnes of PBCL2, uh, which would make quite a lot of white paint, if that's what we're going to use it for? Um, I need 17.88 tonnes. As long as all of it is converted. Now we talked about percentage yield, probably won't happen, but that's the calculation you work out. Um, always the same. Anything you want to know, get the ratio of formula masses for the balanced equation and work it from there.